Golf Central. Brought to you by Titleist. Final round, AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Vaughn Taylor started the day six back, but here he comes on the birdie train late. Hits that one on 16. Vaughn Taylor post 65 and would have to sit and wait. Watch this. The Hall of Famer Mickelson for birdie to force a playoff. It somehow doesn't fall on 18 at Pebble Beach, a place Phil Mickelson has won four other times in his career, and he came that close to winning for the fifth time at Pebble Beach, that close to picking up his 43rd PGA Tour win at the age of 45. That close is how close we came another Sunday on the PGA Tour. This is about as good, folks, as it can get. Ryan Bird, Trip Eisenhower, Jim Gallagher Jr. Jim, let's start with Phil Mickelson. He is the story. What happened on Sunday? Well, he didn't hit his irons very well. He actually drove the ball better today than he did yesterday. Didn't get it up and down, but interesting. In 2012, he won from six back. Von Taylor turned it around today and won from six back. But, well, you know, that's sometimes what happens when you go out. And we've seen it year after year. A guy goes out and posts an early score, gets in there. The golf course played hard, very difficult. But Mickelson just didn't get up and down uh, like he had and his iron play was off. He, you know, I thought early on he was trying to think more than react trip, and that's mm -hmm. what it looked like to me. Yeah, I mean, only 18 greens on the weekend. It's yep. just not going to get it done. And, and that was the undoing for Phil Mickelson. He relied on the short game yesterday. A, a phenomenal round. Yep. to hit nine greens and shoot 60. Six. Uh, the other thing about Phil Mickelson, he just did look like he was fighting his swing all day long, uh, specifically with the irons. Didn't give himself good opportunities, but we knew somebody was going to come yeah. out of the pack and do it. I don't think we thought it was going to be Vaughn no. Taylor. No. Coming in, Phil Mickelson was 18 of 22 with the outright 54 hole lead. He had a two shot lead, but oh, by the way, he has now lost two consecutive 54 hole leads. Think back to the 2013 U.S. Open at Marion, lost to Justin Rose, and now loses to Vaughn Taylor. Let's show you what went down. It was truly epic. We start with Mickelson at the eighth. On the best par four in the world, the eighth hole at Pebble Beach on a beautiful day. This is a five iron for Phil Mickelson, and this is where you think, okay, we settled down with a birdie at six, a difficult putt uh, here, but he would go on and make that putt, and now he's got a one-shot lead at 16 under. Jonas Blix was making a charge. Here he is at 10. He really was. Usually a pretty good player, a really good putter, but this year not as well, but nice solid run. They're running with the momentum. That gets him to six under, co-leader with Mickelson. Meanwhile. Hiroshi Awada in the final group with Mickelson. He never seems to like his swing, but he just <laughs> keeps hanging around. Well, Iwata was not going anywhere today, and he put up a, a nice effort at this golf tournament and a beautiful shot. Almost holds it there mm -hmm. on 11 from 126 feet, and yet he still had a four-footer, but he would make that. Now he's tied for the lead at 1600. Back to Mickelson now, final group. Well, lucky off the tee, uh, hit it way to the right, and then as Peter Costas was saying, he kind of went up with the ball a little more in the air, kind of released on a very difficult chip. Now a very hard putt coming down the slope. And just slides by. So Mickelson gives up another shot there. Meanwhile, Von Taylor just kind of coasting along. Well, not many birdies on the difficult par 5 14, but Von Taylor starts the party at 14. Now the putter was was strictly magnificent, but he did have to make a few shots, including this one. Well, this coming out of the rough from 122 yards with this whole location right up there. Nice kick, a really nice kick. I almost have to call bounce and bank. He makes birdie there, 16 under. All of a sudden, Von Taylor in a tie for the lead back to Blix. Well, I said 14 was difficult, right? Well, it is, and it's difficult to read from that side of the hole. And he would. Uh, it didn't break. Yeah, look at that. He hit it right where he wanted. Mm -hmm. When the line's doing that, you just misread it. Well, yep. he missed four putts inside 10 feet. Jonas will look back and know that was the difference. Meanwhile, Taylor at the very difficult 16th green. Well, usually a pretty reserved player right here, but Kansas, a little hell whirling around the green there. Right. Give me a victory lap. Absolutely. 15 to 17 on putts inside 10 feet. Taylor absolutely feeling it. Now his second at 18. Th this is a fabulous shot. You do not oh, know how yeah. difficult this shot is. He, he was blocked out by the tree, stymied by the tree, hit a low punch hook around that tree and just set him up in an ideal position. Watch this right wow. here. I mean, he could have gone left, but then that brings the ocean into play. Yep. Uh, but there you see, look how low he had to keep that. And he just looks so calm and he sets up a good look at birdie and maybe a little foreshadow. 
a little further out than what Phil had on 18, but nonetheless, he misses it to the right as well. There is a little break, it would appear, there at the very tail end of that putt. Von Taylor settles for par on 18. Back to Mickelson. Well, this was huge right here. A huge big breaker. Hard to read that, but he hit it with authority. He cans that right there. Two shots back, 15 under. I had to have it. I want a one shot back at 16 for the save as well. He makes bogey. So now Mickelson and Iwata both two back. Mickelson two back with two to play. He's only birdied 17 and 18 once in his career at Pebble. It was 07 when he went on to win. And what a beautiful eight iron he hit. The wind caught it at the end or Look it would have been step. even closer. Yeah, the wind just blew that, but it leaves a difficult but makeable putt. Lefty not going away. So well, from 12 feet. And this green's been re redesigned, so it doesn't quite have the same brakes as it had before. But it goes on that speed, there's no brakes. The fairy tale ending is in sight. Mickelson, the long birdie at 17, goes to 18. Von Taylor, helpless. He chapstick. can only he can only stand by and watch. And Mickelson, after a hybrid uh, in the fairway, and he just hit it right into the upslope, Jim, mm -hmm. and killed it, or that would have been up there close, dead. But it's that putt now that everybody misreads. How long is it? Yeah, it's five and a half feet, Vaughn. Phil Mickelson was 23 for 23 on putts inside seven feet until his final putt here on Sunday. For Mickelson, it's a par, and it is another close call for win number 43. And it's Vaughn Taylor who came into this event Hanging on to his PGA Tour career by the seat of his pants. It had been a long time. Ten years, five months, 24 days. Wow, has the world changed since the last time Von Taylor was victorious on the PGA Tour? There was a kid named Spieth that was just 12. Oh, by the way, he's number one in the world now, but Von Taylor, number one on this day after the epic win, spoke with our Steve Rakowski. Six back beginning this final round. Vaughn, as Sunday was upon you, what were you hoping to do here Sunday at Pebble? Uh, top 10 was, you know, I just wanted to play next week. And um, I wasn't even thinking about winning. It wasn't even a thought, really. And, um, you know, things were just, it was just kind of magical out there. I, yeah, I could just feel it. And um, I just had to keep my emotions under check. And, um, you know, I kept just trying to stay calm. and. Uh, I, I can't believe it happened. I mean, I'm just, I'm in disbelief. Rattle off a stretch of birdies in the back nine. How aware were you of where you stood with just a couple holes to go? Um, I saw somewhere there on 14-ish. I think I, I glanced at the board. Um, but I wasn't looking at the leaderboard. I wasn't, you know, I, I just knew Phil was behind me and, and you know, I couldn't, I couldn't think about the leaderboard. So, um, you know, I just kept trying to play my game and, and stay in the moment, stay in the present. It's been a struggle for you the past few years. A week ago, you're in Columbia, withdrawing from a web.com tour event. A week later, you're back in the winner's circle. What are the initial emotions of how hard it was to get back here? I mean, talk about a, you know, I missed the cut in Panama. Nothing went right. I go to Bogota and I, you know, I got, I don't know if it was food poisoning or the stomach flu and I couldn't even play. I had to withdraw and uh, came here early. I mean, and now I'm in the winter circle. I mean, it's not even believable. Um, just in disbelief. Disbelief indeed. Remember, he was a member of the 06 Ryder Cup team. But he goes to 18, and if he did look at a leaderboard, he would have seen that he was up by two shots heading to 18. How's he play the hole? Well, you, you saw, I wanted you to point out how calm he was walking up there. He, his demeanor, he does not get rattled ever. And uh, we want to show this shot again because this is a difficult shot. Easy to balloon it up a little bit and hit those limbs. He kept it down. He hit a, that ball hooks some 50, 60 yards and ends up in a just ideal spot to attack this hole location just 60 some yards away and uh, well controlled uh, swing right there looks beautifully at it with the distance it spins back 
the only thing was a little tentative with the putts. He played the hole beautifully other than that just that little bit of tentativeness with his putts. But we got to remember he was thinking about a top 10. He has no status. He's playing out of a past champion yep. category. He got in this tournament by five spots. OK, so he was five spots away from not having a start. Now he's got a job for not only this year, but two more years uh, going on for Von Taylor. Uh, this is how it happens on the PGA Tour. These guys uh, have their chances. They make the most of it. But I love how calm he looked those last couple of holes when the pressure was on. I think that was the key to his success. Well, like you said, definitely a life-changing moment because if he finishes second, say he goes to the playoff, loses the playoff, he's still in that past champions category. He's not going to get in many events. So that this is a life-changer for him. But for the two rounds, actually today he was closest to the pin, 22 feet of everybody all, yeah. all day long. So he did hit the ball well, but it's a life changer. So, and it's a confidence builder for him. He was the highest he's ever been, his 37th in the world rankings. And he completely fell off the map. You know, he's playing the web.com. And when you've won two times on the PGA Tour, it's like going back into minor leagues and major league baseball. It's just one of those, it knocks you down. It, you're back there, you know what it's like to be at the top. Now you're back at it again. So what a great moment for him. And he's a good guy too. Yeah. And he's a good player, so uh, good for him. And we saw him on the telecast. They showed him warming up with a robot that they have mm -hmm. at the golf academy there I think he can afford to buy one of those yeah. now what do you think I think so he's in pretty good shape <laughs> well interesting for sure 65 on Sunday for Von Taylor but six back to start the day he needed Phil Mickelson to not play his best golf and Phil certainly did not do that as Mickelson especially early on really gave up uh, some golden opportunities to take control of this golf tournament it's now five times that Phil has had the 52 hole outright lead and a 54 hole outright lead and been unable to close the door each time he has finished in second place. Phil Mickelson after that very difficult final birdie putt on 18 would have finished birdie birdie to get into a playoff spoke with our Steve Burkowski. A final round with a lot of drama here at Pebble Beach. Phil how did it play out from your perspective? Uh, I, I didn't I played a little bit tighter throughout the round than I wanted to. I was trying to kind of free it up but I uh, I, I didn't salvage pars on, on some holes that I needed to salvage pars. Um, I didn't have a hard up and down on 11. I didn't have a hard up and down on uh, 14, and I wasn't able to get those up and down. Those those were uh, some shots that cost me, just like not getting up and down on four and five today as well as the last. So it tells me I need a little bit of work to do. I still, uh, I'm, I'm not quite where I, I want to be yet, and I'm, I'm a little bit more determined to get it back, but um, I also know that I'm close. How frustrating is it not to be able to free it up with a lead Sunday at Pebble? Uh, it's a uh, well, it's it's certainly disappointing, and it, it, but it uh, it makes me more determined to uh, to get back to work and get this thing right because I know that I'm on the right track. I know that uh, I'm close to being where I want to be, but um, if I was there, I would have been able to finish it off. What are the positives you'll take moving forward the rest of the year? Well, it's uh, right. The the positive is that I'm having more fun playing golf right now than I've had in years. I'm uh, I've got control of the golf ball. I'm hitting a variety of shots and pulling them off with ease, and um, I'm just having a lot of fun. I mean, as as uh, nervous as I was and as uh, and, and disappointed as I am that I didn't win, I, this was so much fun for me to get back in the thick of it, to feel the pressure, to to make a couple of clutch putts on 16 and 17, and. Um, I, 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 it never crossed my mind that one on 18 wouldn't go in, and uh, but uh, you know it just tells me I've got a little bit more work to do. And that is why everyone loves Phil because he, he's so darn likable, even in defeat. And uh, once again, saying all the right things. These are the failed up and downs yep. from Phil that, that ultimately cost him. Well, the this is the second hole, an easy bunker shot, Jim, and that one just got away from him, and that's one he would get up and down more than half the time. Yeah, he was terrible on the bunkers for, for Phil's standards, uh, for sure. And, and this was kind of a semi-buried lie, and he's, he's put it where it's such a difficult putt coming back down the slope. But he had a sandwich in it. Oh, bunker, that's, so that's there, the issue. Yeah. And then 11 after the bad drive, and like he said, he said this is an easy up and down, especially for him. It just jumped out of that grass a little bit, and then he left a putt that's so difficult to make down that hill. Once again in the sand where... Yeah, when you can see Iwata's so golf ball there, he, he yeah. was also in the bunker, and Phil just, just hit it a little bit too far, missed the putt. 
This one, the chip shot was kind of back into the grain and, and just came up a little bit short. That green's usually really pretty firm. We know it's going to move to the left, but usually a little bit firmer than, and that's what I think he was trying to expect a little bit more release than I didn't quite get it. And interesting to say, as, as you might expect Phil to say, it never crossed my mind that I wouldn't make the putt of on course. 18. Of course not. And uh, he'll be right back out there. You think about this, 2016, this new year, is 45 days old. That's as long as we've, as 2016 has been around, guys. And already we have a second place, a third place, and an 11th place finish for Phil Mickelson. Mm -hmm. uh, you can make an argument. He's playing as well as anyone on the planet right now. I mean, those are a second, a third, and an 11th just unable to win. He's looking at the glasses half full. How do you look at I it? I look at it as half full. I, I would agree with that. I think that's a fair assessment. I mean, to put himself, do the work he's done on his golf swing. He's got confidence there. He has confidence in his short game, but he said it in that sound. He said, I was trying to get freer and looser, and I just was a little too tight, and I think that's for just not being in a situation where he was in control of a golf tournament. He has not been in that situation right. in a while because he clearly had the driver's wheel today. He had the steering wheel with both hands, and he might have gripped just a little bit too tight. Well, that gets back to my point of overthinking versus reacting. Yeah. And once you get comfortable with the golf swing that he's trying to get to, he becomes more able to react. And that's what all players, and it's hard to believe that we want to make it a reaction sport, but that's when you play your best. Yeah. That's when you're able to be free. And he did say he was tight, and he looked a little bit tight. So, you know, he has some things to build on. So there is a lot of positives out of this, uh, uh, this stretch for sure. If you want to look at the other side of the coin, the negative, for me anyways, as well as he's playing with the second, third, and 11th, he's done now in California. And this is generally where he would pick up that win. It's been 939 days since his last victory at the 2013 Open Championship. Now you go to Florida where you never know what you're going to get there. Bay Hill. But California, yeah. that is usually where you say, ah, right. he'll get one in there or Phoenix, and it, it, another year goes by. Well, there's also a little tournament called the Masters at Augusta that okay. he seems to do pretty well, and that's not in California. That's in Augusta, Georgia. So he's Georgia. your pick there? No, I, I look, I, anytime he's playing this well, I think he should be on your short list. I mean, he finished second a couple of years ago and wasn't even playing right. that well going in. Augusta's a place where you cannot read form into Phil Mickelson when he, when he gets there. But Honda, a difficult golf course, would normally give Phil trouble, but the way he's striking his golf ball, I think Honda, PGA champion golf course, uh, you know what, he could be a factor there as well. I think Phil is right where he wants to be in 2016, as you said, glass half full, let's keep it there. Phil's got a lot of things going in his direction. Well, the interesting thing, if he gets down here in Florida, where the wind can blow and you have a kind of a new golf swing and an unsure of yourself golf swing, that's when you get in trouble. So that's something to look for as he comes through this swing, but a lot to build on. He's going to go back, work on it, and he'll be ready. It's just once you take what you've done and putting it back into play, that's the hardest thing to do. It's like taking it from the range and taking it to the golf course. This is a very, even for someone of his ability, very difficult, but once you get the success, you build on that. And I think that's one of the things once he gets it going once he finally knocks the door open and goes on and wins he'll be all right at 45 years of age you start to wonder when the chances will come he certainly had a great opportunity on this sunday with the 54 hole lead so once again take a look at your final leaderboard von taylor picks up his third career pga tour win his last was at the 2005 barracuda championship his other pga tour win the 2004 Barracuda Championship. This, my friends, not the Barracuda. It's Pebble Beach. Von Taylor winning for the third time in his career. A lot more still to come here on Golf Central. Much more on Von Taylor, Phil Mickelson, and many more as we continue to cap off a memorable day from Pebble Beach. Golf Central is brought to you by Bushnell Golf and the Tour X. Slope technology when you want it. Tournament legal when you need it. Titleist, the number one ball at the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am.